Hi, I'm comedian Ed Gamble, and I'm devastated to find out that even in Royal Windsor, I'm a type 1 diabetic. But there's a fudge kitchen here, and I'd like to find out what it tastes like. So I brought my friend James Acaster with me to taste it for me. So what does this process do, please? Uh, so creaming uh, works air into the fudge to help it to thicken and set. Stu, look at this. It's going to go off the edge. <laughs> um, so yeah, worked air into the fudge, uh, works on the shape and size of the sugar crystals, giving you uh, smoother fudge. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Oh. we're okay, we're okay. Pinch and sprinkle. Pinch and sprinkle. Do, you like, do you like it quite salty or not salty? I'll leave it at your artistic digression. James, are you a salty or sweet boy? I'm a... I'm a well, I'm a salty boy, actually, but I'm obviously I like puddings, but yeah. I like it when they're, they're salty, but I don't like savoury stuff when it's sweet. So that would, that would make you more of a sweet boy, I think, with a hint of salty. Yes. See, I'm more of a salty boy. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty, creamy and crunchy. Don't forget to hashtag that. Hashtag creamy and crunchy. Hashtag sweet and salty. Hashtag sweet and salty. Which are you? Slide the knife down the side of the fudge. Got it? Oh, I've messed it up. I've messed it up. You messed it up? Uh, yeah, it's right. wonky. It's, it's wonky. a bit wonky, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a wonky it's a bit one. It's thin as well, don't it's you? It's wonky and it's thin. It's, right. it's all the things that it shouldn't have been. Oh, and it's broken. Oh, it's broken at the top. Right. And now. I've... <laughs> okay, now. Oh, that is a sad. It's all right. It's little it's Pepe. Still tastes good. Little That's what Pepe I call them. Little Pepe the Runt. If James can slice a tray of fudge, or a good tray of fudge, in 54 seconds, I'll give you a thousand pounds. I dedicate this world record to Little Pepe. Here he is, he's watching you. I'm what? <laughs> I've adopted Little Pepe. Poor little Pepe, look at him. And we're, right. watch, we're watching you from the, the bleachers. Okay. Roy Castle. I'm right. Oh, it's okay. not a good start. It's a weak okay. start. <laughs> 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 Help. Okay, that's not a good start. Little Pepe is very disappointed. What time, Will? Uh, 11 seconds. 11 seconds, right, you can do this. That's a little bit thinner. What do you think his chances are? None. None. Zero. Okay. Zero percent chance. <laughs> okay. So what is it about cool minutes? <laughs> And they, I mean, I seem to remember they lost, didn't they? Yeah, they Not the box office. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's, done, so it's, it's done already, it's done. Ah, uh, well. We got six. I gave it my best shot, and that's what record breaking's all about. No, it's about breaking records. And unfortunately, you have not touched that one. <laughs> Stay outside. Um, where's my tray? It's a little fudge addict trying to get in. Standard Basically, what, what I've done um, with James is I've adopted a pancreas. Right. So, uh, so he'll be eating it for me and describing it to me, and then I'll be, hopefully, the descriptions will be so good it's almost like I'm eating the fudge. Will your pancreas or no? My pancreas, my pancreas won't know. My, pan my pancreas is dead. <laughs> it's nothing. And what's the under-the-counter fudge? The under-the-counter secret fudge of the day is... Maple and walnut. Maple and walnut? A little bit anticlimactic. I think it sounds good. I thought it was going to be, like, cannabis. Are you excited, James? I am excited and a little bit scared of some of these choices. Um, the, the chilli choice, the dragon's breath, obviously, I'm not... Have you noticed that there's, there's a you. deliberately smaller bit of that, so it must be really spicy. So clearly, yeah, he's legitimately worried for me. Would you say that's a lot of fudge for one person to eat in a sitting? I'm not eating all of that, am I? Yeah. Dep depends on the person. Have a little bit of each. I've eaten that in a sitting quite happily, yeah. like quite comfortably. Yeah, yeah but that's why I've had your cannabis fudge on the munchies. So, so we can move through the ages of fudge quicker, yeah. I think we need a word to describe the taste, which immediately conjures it in my head, so I what don't want to eat it. Yeah. And then the relative 
that it would be for. Pleasure. Now, you get, get creamy and crunchy. Yeah. You get a nice crunch to begin with, and then creamy in your mouth, and a very rich toffee flavour running through, like a... It's, I think grandparents would enjoy this one. Ah. A little bit crumblier, that one, is it? Bit crumblier, but then again, you've got more layers going on there. You've got more... Mm. You know, this is quite pure. Oh. Not gone, not gone as well as we'd hoped. Now. Okay. What's going on with this? This is a dance. What Let does me this tell dance you. represent? It makes me feel very happy because the actual chocolate, I've never tasted anything before and got a sense of the actual shape of it. And I just ate that and could feel that the chocolate flavour was actually in this kind of... in an actual swirl, like a snake. Yeah. And did you feel like you were in the swirl as well? Yeah. It's like it moved across my tongue, mm. transporting me to Belgium itself. Which I went to on a holiday once, and yeah. it was boring. Yeah. But the shop that there was exquisite. Single auntie who goes to Glastonbury. Tough. Tough. I feel like a tough guy. You feel like a tough guy. Mm. So that's made you feel quite tough. Cousin. Tough cousin. Yeah. Tough cousin. Yeah, I maybe can imagine you, eating that. Maybe you'll have a tough cousin who pushes you around at Christmas. But did you, does that mean you don't like it? I love it. Ah, uh, it's the fist pump. It's the trademark Acaster fist pump. And this is a new move. <laughs> this is a new pudding move for you. Oh. Mmm. Quite violent about that. Exquisite. Yeah. I mean... Family members, I'd give this to myself. I don't think that's part of it, actually. Merry Christmas. Careful yeah, you don't burn your fingers, man. Oof. Like Bilbo Baggins in the cave, still in the treasure. So this is quite spicy. We'll see how quickly the spice kicks in. Nothing. It's nice chocolate. Nice chocolate, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Man. <laughs> wow. Oh. It takes a lot to make James Lancaster F. Sorry for swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Would you say it's a pleasant fudge? Yeah. Yeah. The char chocolate. The char chocolate? Oh, dark chocolate is delicious. Uh, dark chocolate. That is. That is something else. Uh, this is what I w would do, was I not blighted by this horrible condition. I would uh, mix them up a little bit. Well, now you've tugged at my heartstrings with your horrible condition. So I'd like, I think we should flip the script and remix. Okay. Call me DJ Fudge. DJ Fudge, I knew it right. <coughs> so, Stuart, you texted me yesterday. Some... If we, like, did you? Could... You texted me yesterday telling me you were going to call yourself DJ, DJ Fudge, Fudge and you've actually done it. Call me DJ Fudge. So, we should put that all in there. Look at little Pepe over there. You're buzzing. Mmm. Welcome to the club. You've dropped a big bit of chilli fudge, and now DJ Fudge is about to step up to the decks and blow your mind. I'm actually more in the moment now, I feel that. Oh! DJ Fudge! Right. Am I in America? I've just had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> looks like... Looks like DJ Fudge has another hit on his hands. That? I loved that. Yeah? Yeah. That should be a flavour of fudge you do here. DJ oh, Fudge yep. just left the building. Good. Mad Professor Fudge. That sounds worse. All of the flavours. No. All... What do you mean, no? If you didn't have diabetes, you would not be eating it like this. I would. I'd be doing the experiment. It's meant to be me tasting stuff for you and what you would have yourself. And you would not smush it into a little ball and call yourself Mad Professor Fudge and eat it. Oh, I'm going to be sick. From the middle. What, what, DJ Fudge? But DJ Fudge isn't here anymore, this is Mad Professor Fudge. No, well, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss DJ Fudge. I mean, 
It's like when you're a kid and you mix all the different colours, crayons together to see what new colour you make. And it's just a very mucky looking brown colour and it doesn't look as nice as everything else. Mm. But how does that taste? This is just sugar flavoured fudge. Right. If you were to sell this, it would just be called sugar flavour. Do you want to box that up and, and take what? it with? And send it to an enemy? Absolutely not. And what, um, what relative would this be good for at Christmas? A dead one. This is James Acaster and Mad Professor Fudge from Windsor's Fudge Kitchen for Just Puddings. Just Puddings, baby.